Good day everyone. Today we will have Mathematics 10. I am your teacher. I am Sir Sinan Dolls Jr., a Mathematics 10 teacher. Today we will be having illustrative events, union and intersection of events. At the same time, we will have the last for week number six. Okay. Let us observe a die. So this is an example of a die. Now, in this die, how many faces does it have? Okay, we know that there are six faces. Okay, since there are six faces, when we know this die, Letter A, how many outcomes do we have in getting an even number? To answer, this let us identify the even numbers in the die. Okay, the even numbers are, we have 2, we have 4, and we have 6. So this the, these are the even numbers. Okay, again we have two, four, six. How many outcomes are there? So we have three. Number of outcomes. We have one, two, three. Number of outcomes, or in other words, is called cardinality. How about in getting a three? What is or are the outcomes? So the outcome is we have three. So in getting a three, the possible outcome is three, and the number of outcome is only one. Because we have only one three in this die. What are the outcomes in getting a number less than five? So, let's not buy. So, the answer, the possible outcomes will be we have 1, 2, 3, and then 4. These are the numbers less than 5 in this line. So, the number of outcomes or the cardinality, we have 4. We have 1, 2, 3, in rolling a die, this is called an experiment. Okay. And getting an even number, or getting a 3, or getting a number less than 5, are called events. Okay, or events of the experiment. While 2 for 6, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 are called outcomes. This one. And the number of outcomes are called or is called a cardinality. Denoted by a small letter N. And also the experiment is called as a simple event. In rolling two dice, how many possible outcomes are there in the following? A. Getting a double. So meaning, both dice show the same result. B. Getting a sum of pi. C. One die shows two. To answer this, we construct a table. The first column illustrates the faces of die number 1 and the first row is die number 2 the first element of the pair represents the outcomes for die 1 and the second element of the pair for die 2 the outcome for the first die paired with outcomes for the second die result to this table let's go back to the problem how many possible outcomes are there in A. 
getting a double again meaning both guys show the same result inserted the pair showing that both guy have the same result the outcomes are we have 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 this is how we write the outcomes there are six possible outcomes let us answer letter b getting a sum of five again let us insert the pair whose sum is five the outcomes are we have one four two three three two four one there are four possible outcomes then what about c one guy shows two inserted the pair with two the outcomes are one two two one two 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 three two four two five two six three two four two five two six two so there are 11 possible outcomes did you now understand how to identify the outcomes great now in the problem which of the following is the experiment letter a rolling two dice letter b getting a double and letter c getting a sum of pi the correct answer is a rolling two dice next which of them are called events a rolling two dice b getting a double and c getting a sum of pi the correct answers are b getting a double and letter c getting a sum of pi in the experiment the outcomes are these rolling a die is a simple event rolling another die is another simple event hence rolling two dice is an example of compound event as a summary experiments are activities that can be repeated over and over again and have well-defined results while outcomes are the results of the experiment event is an outcome or a set of outcomes in an experiment and simple event consists of only one outcome while compound event consists of two or more simple events let us consider events a and b in a form of event diagram okay the set of all outcomes that belong to A or to B that is either A or B is called as union of events denoted by A union B the set of all outcomes that belong to both A and B or that are common to both A or B is called intersection of events. This is denoted by A intersection B. So, this is the intersection denoted by A intersection B. Note that the term used for union is all while for intersection of events are n and both now let's take a look at this situation the extracurricular activities we have drama band and athletics in which the junior class of tobacco national high school participate are illustrated in the band diagram one how many events are there the answer is 
Three, they are drama, band, and athletic. Let us find the cardinality of D or the cardinality of drama. What are the number of outcomes inside the diagram D? They are 38, 30, 10, and 4. To find the cardinality of D, we have to add them. So we have 38 plus 30 plus 10 plus 4 equals 82. Therefore, the cardinality of event D is 82. Now, it's your turn. Find the cardinality of B and the cardinality of A. Okay. So, the cardinality of B is 99. That is correct. And the cardinality of A is 159. All correct. Now, let's find the cardinality of the intersection. To find the cardinality of A intersection D, let's first locate A and D. Recall that intersection means what is common to both events. So, 10 and 4 are common to both of them. So, we add 10 and 4, which will give you 14. Therefore, the cardinality of A intersection D is 14. Can you do the rest on your own? Try. The cardinality of the intersection of A and B is 10 plus 8, or we have 18. The cardinality of intersection of B and D is 30 plus 10, or 40. The cardinality of the intersection of these three events, this is their intersection. Therefore, the cardinality of D, intersection B, intersection A is equal to 10. Congratulations if you got the correct answers. Let's find the union. Remember that in union, we consider the outcomes present in A or B. Therefore, we have to add all the outcomes in A and B. So we have 30 plus 51 plus 10 plus 8 plus 4 plus 137 is equal to 240. Now it's your turn. Find the union of these events. Okay. Union of B and D is this. Therefore, the cardinality of B, union D, is 38 plus 30 plus 51 plus 4 plus 10 plus 8 is equal to 141. The union of D and A is this. Therefore, the cardinality of D, union A, is 38 plus 30 plus 4 plus 10 plus 8 plus 137 is equal to 227. The union of the three events D, B, and A is this. So, we have to add all the numbers reflected in the Venn diagram. Therefore, the cardinality of the union of D, B, and A is 278. How many students are there in the junior class? 
Here is the solution. Add the union of all the events and the complement, complement meaning the outcomes outside the events. Therefore, the total number of students in the junior class which is your universal set is represented as the universal is equal to D union B union A plus 67 which is 278 plus 67 equals 345 students. As a summary, union of events is the set of all outcomes that belong to A or B or is in either A or B. Union is denoted by the symbol U. The key term for union is OR. While intersection of events is the set of all outcomes that belong to both events or common to both events. Intersection is denoted by the inverted symbol U. The key term for the intersection is both and end. Answer the practice exercise and evaluation of your learning activity sheet or last. Good luck.